Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project employee management system and I have developed this project in Spring Boot, Angular and uh, database I am using the MySQL for on the Spring Boot site I have used the JPA and the Hibernate and uh, for front-end development I have used Angular and for uh, designing part I have used HTML, CSS and JavaScript right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing it for id i am using the visual studio code for angular application development and for uh, spring boot api microservice development i am using the sts if you have the eclipse then you can easily configure and run this project on the eclipse also for database i am using the jam but if you have mysql workbench then you can easily configure your mysql database on the workbench right so these all ids i am using right so let's start with the functionality go through so one more thing i want to show you so uh, this is i have developed two layouts here so you can see this is the first layout right this is a home right this is about you can see this is a first layout this is a contact this is a first layout right and these all are the static but if you click on the login then you will be redirected to a different layout right that is the admin layout right so i have integrated two layouts here right so for uh, 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 angular development you can see this is the app and these are the folder structure which i am using there is a front end part for front end application and there is a different layouts for the back end applications mintha for the admin part right i am running this project on the port 80 if i show you then you can see now uh, this i'm running right so this uh, sorry port 4200 uh, for the angular application and uh, for a spring boot you can see this is the spring boot and this are the project structure right so these are the controllers models repositories and services all are available here and uh, i am running this api part means uh, spring boot service part in port 8080 right so for running this project you need to import the spring boot part in sts or the eclipse and the angular part you can run through cli and you can edit the code in visual studio code which currently i am using here right okay so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented so once you run the project you will get this home page right so this is the home page uh, you will get here uh, so this is the home page these all are the static content here right if you click on the about so these are all are the static content so this is the separate layout for the uh, login right for admin login and the employee login this is a contact page right now this there are two types of rule available in types inside the system the first one is the admin and second one is the employee right i'm logging as an admin so if you log inside uh, user if you log in with admin user the internal functionality and menu will be different you can see there are different menus available here admin can see the employee report add employee leaves report add leaves salary report as and and logout right so the same things are available here also right so this is the dashboard so once you click on the add employee then you will get the form from here you will be able to enter the information of the employee and once you click on the submit then all the information will be saved so these all are the blank field validated right so you can't submit the blank fields this is the employee report all of the employee which you have had it will be displayed here even there is a leave taken so each and every employee has shown that how many leave he has taken so in the system there is a provision of 14 leaves in a year uh, employee can take 14 leaves right so this is a seven leaves if you want to edit just click on the edit you will be able to edit the record right this is the add employee part from where you can add the employee this is a leaves report all of the leaves which has been applied by the employee will be displayed here you can see there are two leaves all are the in the pending action right but if you click on the edit you can see the total you granted is 14 and total taken leave is seven and remaining is seven right but if i click on the approve right once you click on the submit then you can see this is, has been approved right so this has been approved and this is pending right and once once you approve then you will not be able to edit the record so this is the uh, uh, validation here approved leave can be edited right you can disapprove it also you can see 
disapproved once you click on this disapproved then you can see this is a different color all right this is the leaves report this is add leaf from here admin can add the leaves right this is a salary report from here admin can and see the salary report this is the download button for the pay slip admin can add it add the pay slip and uh, admin can download it even employee can also download his pay slip only right so you can see edit and after that you can see all and upload salary slip so from here admin can upload the salary slip this is add salary from here admin can add the salary right from here he can upload and once he upload then the salary slip will be downloaded by the uh, admin uh, sorry admin as well as the uh, employee right so logout once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed so you can see the session has been destroyed now on from the same panel you can log in as an employee also so you can see there is a limited option of the menu here right so this is a my salary admin uh, sorry the employee can see his only salary he can't edit and delete the salary right he can download the slip here right you can see this is the slip right so you can upload anything this is my salary apply leave so he can see how much leave he has taken and what how many leaves is remaining right this is a my leaves means how many leaves he has taken and action on action you can't edit and delete leaves because uh, uh, both one is approved and disapproved right suppose it's in the pending stage then employee can edit the leave here right suppose if i apply the leave suppose from from date to 11 21 to 22nd leave reason test test right once i click on the submit you can see employee can edit it but because it's in pending state right this is a my account from where at, at employee can update his account but there is a restriction the employee can't add these fields these are disabled so um, employee can update only the landline mobile number the email and the address right he can't add uh, edit these fields because this has been disabled by the admin but admin can edit any of the fields right and log out right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project uh, that is the employee management system and it's a major project developing a spring boot angular right and if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much